Welcome to the Scott Show. This is 1985 Top 8. Uh, we have so many songs to go through. The 80s were just a magical time for music. Um, very exciting. But I know people are going to argue with me. And, you know, sorry folks, but this is my list of the Top 8 from 1985. If you want to argue with me, by all means, please do. All of these songs I think I have on my phone on my list and I'll either dance to them, sing to them, or whatever we do to them. But here we go. The top eight from 1985. First, we're going to go through our long list of honorable mention. Now, I get this list, and I never said this on any of the other videos. I, I break down this list from the Billboard Top 100 and uh, go from there, and then I create uh, the top eight from 1985. As I have from 80 to 84 is already posted. Check them out. 86 to 89 is still coming. But we are 1985 and we start out with the song Jungle Love by Morris Day in the Time. Um, folks, this is one of the uh, one of my favorite songs from the Purple Rain soundtrack. Or from the movie Purple Rain. It's actually not on the soundtrack. It should have been. I think it was a big, big problem with that. But it wasn't a print song. So... It didn't make the soundtrack, but however, it did make Morris Day. Um, and the time, if you guys ever get a chance to see the movie uh, Purple Rain, you remember the time where he uh, had Jerome throw that girl in the garbage can. It still makes me laugh to this day, even though, I, I mean, it was mean and it was, you know, giving the, making this guy a bad guy, or in the wrestling, as we call it, a heel. But there you go. I just spent a few minutes talking about Jungle Love. That's how great the song is. But, of course, it doesn't make my top eight from 1985 because I have so many other great songs. California Girls from David Lee Roth. Now, let me tell you something, folks. Back in 1985, I was four and five. To see MTV and to see all these uh, bikini girls on MTV as a five- and six-year-old listening to David Lee Roth sing the song, who was just, he's got that blonde hair flowing all over the place. California Girls was definitely the song of 1985. Almost as good as the ones I have on the list. And some of them make the list based on how they are now. And some of them make the list on how they were then. So there you go. Heart, What About Love also makes our list. Julian Lennon, John Lennon's son, makes our list with Too Late for Goodbyes. Summer 69, Brian Adams makes, her, uh, makes the honorable mention list. As well as the Arrhythmics, Would I Lie to You? One of my favorite gym songs. It always makes me pumped up to hear what I lied to you. And the uh, trumpets and Dave Stewart playing the guitar. Love that. I love that song. However, it did not make my top eight. And it, it would probably be up there, though. Uh, Voices Carry Till Tuesday. Great video. Check that out. Smooth Operator by Sade. All I Need by... Uh, oh, excuse me, folks. I had, I had something in my throat. Singing all these songs before I came on the air. All I Need by soap opera host Jack Wagner. Jack Wagner, All I Need. If you've never heard this guy sing, he's just amazing. And if you've never seen this guy act and you only ever heard the song, then check it out. I mean, the guy is talented in many, many ways. Jack Wagner, All I Need. A Miami Vice theme by Jan Hammer. The Heat Is On by Glenn Fry. Unfortunately, we uh, we lost Glenn Fry, and I'm very sorry. Uh, but his music will live on forever as a part of the Eagles. It is amazing. Wham! Everything She Wants also makes our honorable mention list. Heaven by Brian Adams. Brian Adams makes our list twice on the honorable mention. We always have a few people do that. Uh, Every, Every Time You Go Away by Paul Young. Crazy for You, Madonna. She makes her list twice also with Like a Virgin. Um, Money for Nothing by Dire Straits. Everyone Wants to Rule the World by Tears for Fears. And I Want to Know What Love Is by Foreigner. I know I'm going to get crap about that, but why is it not on your top eight? Well, because these eight songs are just... They're, uh, they're the top eight songs from 1985, and you can't argue with me on these ones. I think this is a pretty solid list, even probably one of my best solid lists. Uh, I think I had one in the 90s that was pretty solid too. But here we go. Our top 8 from 1985. We started 5 minutes into the damn video. Oh my gosh. Alright, we go with number 8. Careless Whisper. 
Wham! Featuring George Michael. Careless Whisper. Now, I don't understand why uh, Billboard Top 100 said Wham! Featuring George Michael. Uh, but it, it it's a George Michael song. Careless Whisper is definitely one of the best dance songs of all t- uh, Slow dance songs of all time. It's just beautiful. Number 7 made it because of its nostalgia and what it did for people. And that is We Are the World by USA for Africa. Um, I, how can I not put this on the top 8 from 1985? It was just 85 rolled together all together with every person who made a great hit. And there was also another one done by um, Live Aid and um, I can't even think of the guy who did it. But uh, I'll think about it soon. But Do They Know It's Christmas is another one of those great songs. But it does not hold a candle to We Are the World as far as um, how big it got. So, there you go. It's the American version is We Are the World with everybody in it. And then Do You Know It's Christmas is the British version with all the British people in it. And you can argue all day who what song you like better, but We Are the World makes it on the list. Number six is actually St. Elmo's Fire Man in Motion. And I put that song on there because it is one of those songs that stands the test of time. It just gets me pumped. I just like it. So... It, it gets on my list because I like the song. John Parr, amazing. Just amazing. St. Elmo's Fireman in Motion. Check out that song if you have not checked out, uh, not heard that song in a long time. Number five, Head Over Heels by Tears for Fears. This song right here is on my list of greatest songs of all time, Head Over Heels. It's one of my favorites. Um, the Brothers sing this song from Tears for Fears and they just they just rocking it all day long. Make it happen. Head over heels, Tears for Fears. My next song is a collaboration song and I had said in 1984 that there weren't a lot of songs with two guys singing together that really made it pop. And I didn't think of the song in the five seconds that I had between the songs all together. But that is Easy Lover by Philip Bailey and Phil Collins. That song is, it's on my gym uh, hits. I love that song so much. Philip Bailey, Phil Collins singing Easy Lover. That's my number four from 1985. My number three, and you can argue about this top three because this top three could switch around quite a bit. But my number three is going to be Wake Me Up Before You Go Go by Wham. It makes the list twice. This was definitely Wham's year. It had three songs in this list all together. Um, on the top eight, it had two. On the honorable mention, it had another one. But Wake Me Up Before You Go Go was one of those dance songs. I danced to it like a year ago with a friend of mine, and we had so much fun. So that gets number three. Number two gets it number one because of the video. The video to this number two song is so great. And that's Aha Take On Me. That it, it, how could it not get on the top eight from 1985? Come on, I mean, just the video alone plus the song, very techno. I love that song, it's great. But our number one gets it for nostalgia. Everyone is hearing this song for the first time when they watch The Breakfast Club, and that is Simple Minds Don't You Forget About Me. It gets the number one. From 1985 for a variety of reasons. Mainly the biggest reason is because it it will stand the test of time. And that that really is how I give my songs here their their rating. Is how much are they going to stand the test of time. This song right here will never go away ever. It is the Breakfast Club personified Simple Minds. Don't you forget about me. The best song from 1985 and you guys can argue with me all you want to at 102550.com slash the scott show argue with me talk to me tell me what you think and we will make sure uh we'll have a nice little argument may even do it over some coffee maybe some breakfast friends is breakfast club who knows but we are going to be doing the rest of our videos 1986 7 8 and 9 And get this all done, wrap it up into a great package, and give it to you guys all. It's going to be the top 8 from 1980s. It will be on YouTube as something you can listen to. If you got got a little bit of time, 
listen to the top eight from the 1980s altogether. But listen to these songs, Don't You Forget About Me by Simple Minds. The number one song from 1985. So check us out, 102550.net slash The Scott Show. will get you all of the channels of 102550 and The Scott Show. Also check us out on YouTube at tinyurl.com slash 102550. Check us out, folks, because we are we are rocking it, making it happen. And we'll be back with 1986 next. It's going to be so much fun.